Where did you grow up? I grew up in, um, I was born in Memphis, and then I, we moved to Columbus where I spent my entire life in Columbus, Mississippi. Tell us about your family. I'm married to Kim. My wife is Kim. We've been married for 18 years. She's a kindergarten teacher over at Center Hill. We have three children, uh, nine, 12, and 17. My parents um, live in Columbus. I have three, I mean, two brothers. Tell us about your years in high school. I was, I was in athletics. I played football, ran track, and uh, baseball and power lifted. I was a B student in high school. Didn't really take my high school studies real serious as I should have, I wish I would have. If I could go back, I would do it better. What was your favorite sport? Football was my favorite sport. Well, football and track, it, it's, it was kind of, I worked real hard at football. I, I was never the biggest kid out there. Um, I was very uh, studious with the game. I'd learned my position. Because of my size, I was very uh, a technical type player. A track was the same way. I threw discus from the time I was in ninth grade till I graduated. And that is something that I, I really enjoyed throwing the discus and that was something else that was real technical and I was able because of the hard work I was able to get a scholarship in, in both football and track. What was a pivotal moment in your teenage years? Pivotal moment in my teenage years were probably was actually when I was in track. Um, I was always not I couldn't throw as far as the other guys. And my junior year, I was really worked hard. I really, really worked hard. And we went to the district uh, uh, meet. And out of, I think it was 18 guys throwing, I ended up second. And I was shocked um, when I placed second in that event. So that just made me realize that hard work does pay off you can achieve. What job did you have in high school? In high school, I was a lifeguard. Um, my sophomore, junior, and senior year, I lifeguarded. Uh, I also um, worked at the park and recreation as a scorekeeper. That was a fun job. It worked nights, paid well at that time. And, uh, but I enjoyed lifeguarding. I got to meet a lot of people as a lifeguard. Um, saved a couple of lives, but um, I, I really enjoyed it. And then I, then my, my end of my senior year, I went to work for the post office too. Worked at the post office at night, and that job was very interesting to learn. You get a good idea of how the mail works, and I was sorted mail and loaded trucks and collected mail, and it was a fun job. It was a fun job. Tell us about your college experience. College, I went to school out to out in Kansas on a scholarship, uh, football and track. I um, started as a freshman at center, ended up third team all conference, um, but it was just so far off. It was in the it was a culture shock for me. I did I did have an opportunity to meet kids from California, Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, Utah, Wyoming, Nebraska. I was able to see part of country I've never been able to see before. But I did decide to uh, transfer to uh, West Alabama. And there I was redshirted. I uh, studied education and I played and then I, when I got hurt, I, um, I got hurt playing, playing, and I ended up having to have um, career-ending surgery on my shoulder. And we, and then I kind of dropped out of college after that for a while. Went, went to work. How did you choose the college to attend? 
My, the original college that I attended choice was because of a scholarship. And the second college that I went to was because so I could play football. But finally, I ended up finishing at the, the W at a later age. And I chose that just because it was close to home, but it was a really, it was considered to be a really good uh, school in the field of education. And I learned a lot there. I was, they prepared, I was prepared when I graduated from the W. They, I was able to go straight into the teaching world and know what to do. They prepared us. How did you choose your profession? Did you originally plan on becoming a teacher? I kind of always wanted to be a teacher. If time I was about 14, 15 years old, I always wanted to be a teacher, I wanted to coach. But I also enjoyed the teaching part, the aspect of, you know, everybody kind of says, well, everybody, I want to be a coach. But I wanted to be both because I look at coaching as teaching. You teach students how to perform a task when you coach, and, and in the classroom, you're teaching them how to whatever it could be history it could be physical science it could be biology english you're teaching all the time if you're at working at school no matter what you're doing you're teaching and i like and when mr orr hired me he, the one thing i told him is that i would want to teach i want to teach teach students how to be productive citizens what's something outside of school that you're passionate about my passion really outside of school is going to be my family my kids, my wife, my parents, my in-laws, that's what I'm passionate about, helping them whatever they need, watching them succeed, especially my kids. I've, I've really tried to instill hard work into my kids to strive for greatness, and I really see my kids doing that, and it, that's what I, that's what I'm passionate about, is my kids excelling. And I do it in my way. I, um, they know what the expectations are and they live up to them. Tell us something you've always dreamed about doing, something on your bucket list. My bucket list, I really wanted to visit all 50 states in the union, um, learn about the state, see the thing, see what, see the different parts of the country you know what's different from the northeast up in maine compared to say arizona um i want to meet people from all over the country go to alaska go to hawaii go to puerto rico even though puerto rico is just territory i still it's still part of the our country united states i want to see it and just look at what this nation has to offer. What's something students might not know about you? Students may think that I'm just hard-nosed, hardcore, but really and truthfully, I want them all to succeed. Uh, I want them to become the best person that they can be. And if I can help them get there, then I'll help them get there. What's something you love about this school? I really, one thing about Horn Lake High School I really love is how teachers will help each other. Um, for instance, I was out for three months two years ago. I had surgery and I was out for three months and Miss Clark literally took over my class, my classes. She was teaching her class and making sure my classes were able to get the information they needed so that they can learn. That was something that she didn't need to do. She didn't have to do, but she did it. And there's other examples of how teachers have helped each other out. Too many to talk about.